All right, let's talk about camshaft uh, lobe. So this is a camshaft right here. Um, this particular camshaft comes out of a 2.0 um, world engine. Um, and what we're talking about is, is this part of the camshaft right here. This lobe will contact um, either directly or indirectly through a rocker arm the valve and open and close the valve um, for the combustion process. So the duration, which is the amount of time that this is open, and it can be seen if we look at the duration is um, as it makes its way around this base circle, um, would be how long I open the valve um, and then close the valve. All right. So as far as the naming conventions, uh, we typically call this part the base circle. If you imagined a circle driven drawn around this uh, camshaft, that would be the base circle. The top of this lobe is known as the nose. Um, the bottom is the heel. Um, I mentioned the duration, so that's, think about it, as soon as it leaves the base circle and it begins to come arch up this way, that's when it would be opening the valve, and then the valve would begin to close on this side right here. So that's kind of the, the naming convention for that. Um, if we want to measure uh, the, the lift that occurs or the amount of uh, time that we open and close or the, the distance that we open the valve, we need to make a measurement right here. So I've got my micrometer here. This happens to be a metric micrometer and we're measuring, uh, this is a 25 millimeter metric micrometer. Um, make sure, just as a reminder when measuring with micrometers, this will have a standard and this standard is 25 millimeters. And this is how I would zero out the micrometer. So I've tightened it up with the ratcheting mechanism and I've zeroed out the micrometer. Any measurement that I make with this, I need to add the standard, which in this case is 25 millimeters. All right, so I begin by measuring, and I want to be real careful that I'm not damaging anything on this lobe. I begin by measuring the base circle. The base circle can be found by putting this at this angle right here, and I'm measuring at this point. So this is my base circle number. I would take that measurement, and then I would record it, and I would keep it so that we can determine the actual lift. I then can rotate it around, and I'm going to measure from the heel to the nose, and make the same measurement. So I've got that distance, and now I've determined how far I am, or what the distance is to the top, to the peak um, of the uh, lobe. Now I take that measurement and I subtract the base circle. What that will give me is how far this is actually lifting. So how far am I uh, lifting from the base circle, which is not opening the valve, until the fullest open that the valve can be. So this is the first type of measurement, or the first way that I could measure the lobe lift on a camshaft. All right, so this is the second method in which we can measure lobe lift or how much the camshaft lobe opens and closes the valves. That's what the lobe lift is determining. I'm on the intake camshaft here in this particular cylinder head. Um, I've removed the valves and valve springs. If you didn't want to do that, you could measure this on the V-blocks, but uh, that's why I can rotate this camshaft easily. Um, I'm on the base circle here of the camshaft, and now I'm going to use this dial indicator to determine how far that lobe actually lifts the camshaft. Uh, excuse me, how far that lobe uh, presses up against the, the bucket in this case to open and close the valve. So I've put my dial indicator on here, I've zeroed it out, and then I'm going to go ahead and rotate. The thing that I need to take into consideration when doing this particular um, method of testing is this dial indicator is going to do a full revolution. So each of those revolutions is 0 0.100 um, inches. So I need to add those. If it rotates more than once around, I would need to add that to it. So I, I begin to rotate my um, camshaft, and I see that my dial indicator is going, and it makes its way all the way around. So that would be 0.1. Um, and then it goes a second time around, 0.2. And so I'd continue to add those numbers together until I get to the appropriate lift. Um, then I get to my final value here, and I can see that my camshaft begins to make that rotation and then goes the other way. That's indicating that I'm at the, the peak of the lift, and that number then would tell me that is the lift of that particular lobe.